It's an honor that was 11 years in the making. A local veteran injured in Iraq bestowed with a medal he dearly deserved. Sergeant Doug Ragoon commanded a gun truck during his tours in Iraq. He had some close calls, but what happened on February 2nd, 2008 almost killed him and was almost too tough to even recover from. Absolutely. This is my wife, Sarah. To say Sergeant Doug Ragoni comes from a military family this is my brother-in-law, John, is an understatement. My grandfather, both my parents, my brothers, my father-in-law, my brother-in-law, you know, half the people that are in the family room over there were, were in the Air Force at one point or another. He was in his second tour of duty in Iraq in 2008 when the gun truck he was commanding was hit by an IED. I got a concussion. I have traumatic brain injury from that. Um, and I had ruptured eardrums from it and knocked. I got lucky enough, our, our Humvee was up armored. It, it went off right next to my, right next to my door, right underneath, you know, kind of on the undercarriage there. I suffered in silence for a number of years, you know, uh, feared the stigma that went along with it until I finally couldn't, couldn't deal with it anymore and finally got, finally got treatment for it. And there's a lot of guys who can't. That's an important message I it think is. to put out. Absolutely, absolutely. I was I was one of the very, very lucky ones. What's wrong? What's wrong? And today, in front of his wife and kids and family, he's being presented the Purple Heart. February 2nd, 2008, Tech Sergeant Ragoni's vehicle was struck. You know, the Purple Heart is one of those awards that there's you don't come in the military striving for. You just you just don't. And there's a lot of guys that that get this award that aren't as lucky as me. All right. That's all right. I'll see you, man. We'll have to get together, okay? Yeah. You know, they, they award this posthumously to everybody um, that's, that's killed in action. And even after he was hurt, believe it or not, he actually served one more tour uh, after that. Real hero. And now he's in recruiting, so he's the face uh, for the Air Force, and he does a great job. Role model, yeah. really, for decades now. Yeah. All right. Great story. Thank you, Jason. Mm -hmm.